Inflation declines as Fed eyes potential rate cuts, but high prices still impact Americans. Inflation is now closing in on the Federal Reserve's 2% target after hitting a 40-year peak during the early years of Biden's presidency. Despite this progress, inflation remains a major concern for voters, which Vice President Kamala Harris has addressed with a proposal aimed at tackling price gouging. Rising costs were seen as a challenge to Bidenomics when the Consumer Price Index, CPI, spiked at 9.1% in 2022. Since then, there has been a significant cooling in price increases, with the CPI rising just 2.9% year-over-year as of July. This rare disinflation, occurring even as the gross domestic product grew by 3% last quarter, has given policymakers room to consider lowering interest rates. However, many Americans still feel the pinch of high prices on essentials, and this discontent has become a talking point in Trump's campaign. Harris has responded with proposals targeting prices on basic goods, such as groceries. While some economists questioned the effectiveness of such measures, the idea resonates with voters. Throughout 2022 and 2023, the Federal Reserve raised interest rates to combat inflation. However, market data, including U.S. government securities and inflation-linked derivatives, suggest that the recent inflation surge was largely due to supply chain issues and pandemic-related shortages. Swap markets accurately predicted monthly CPI figures throughout the year and now project inflation to drop to around 2.1% by December and 1.9% within a year. As inflation shows signs of stabilizing, the Fed may be in a position to reduce interest rates, which could have a significant impact on the economy and on Americans' purchasing power. The recent trends indicate a return to more stable inflation levels, though many households are still waiting to feel the relief.